Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a video talking about Sci-Fi's Van Helsing and the fact that Sci-Fi has already greenlit a season 2 which is set to begin production around January 2017 and likely to, you know, air around the same time uh, season 1 started this year. Um, very, of course, very happy to hear this news and I'm also going to be talking about why you should be watching this show because it's uh, one of the most awesome things out there right now. Uh, but first, let's talk about the season two renewal. Um, of course, you know this is this is you know a little bit surprising to hear right now um, because a lot of times networks will usually uh, wait, you know, until like a lot of times like a few months after the season ends or something like that. Um, so it really, I think it says something. It's really a, a good sign that they already decided to renew it at this point. You know, just uh, five episodes in now, um, or uh, four episodes, and the news came out maybe. Um, I have the report from uh, Deadline here, and of course, you know, the uh, show, the showrunner, you know, uh, Neil Abute, he, uh, he, of course, made a little bit of a statement about it, or a uh, writer showrunner, I should say. He said, we have a wonderful and terrifying road ahead planned for Vanessa, her allies, and her enemies. I think this is a world and a story that can be sustained for many years, and I am inspired to do so, thanks to sci-fi's obvious trust and commitment and the storytellers, cast, and crew. And then, you know, it just goes on to describe the show and such like that. Um, but yeah, really, really happy to hear this, and I think it is a good sign, you know. The ratings haven't been, like, massive. Um, you know, they've only been around, like, a, a million or a little bit less, I think. Um, but, you know, sci-fi doesn't usually draw on, like, massive ratings anyway, so I don't think that's a huge... ratings are a huge concern right now. And I think he's right, you know, I think it does show a lot of faith from uh, sci-fi's end of things, you know, that they're actually still willing to uh, renew it, you know, so much ahead of time, um, that they really want to see where, where this goes. And I think it's also part of, uh, you know, sci-fi's sort of uh, initiative to, you know, make more seri or more uh, original content, you know, kind of focus on that type of... Uh, perspective on themselves, you know, because now they have, uh, The Expanse, which I watched a few episodes of. It's a pretty decent show. I can see how, uh, you know, big sci-fi, uh, fans would enjoy that. You know, it's with Thomas Jane, so he's always good. And now they have, you know, uh, they have Z Nation for that end of it. Now they have, uh, Van Helsing for a more serious, uh, horror type of show. Um, so I think they're, you know, they are trying to get a bunch of different genres together, you know, and sort of strengthen their, uh, brand and network. And so I think it makes sense for them in a way, too. So, of course, very happy about Season 2 uh, coming next year. It's going to be uh, 13 episodes again, just like this season, which is good. Um, but, yeah, uh, I cannot be more happy about this. Uh, Van Helsing is one of my absolute favorite shows out there right now. I think it's very good so far. Um, and I, I just think it deserves far more recognition than it's getting in both terms of viewers and just the way the internet is. You know, it's the internet. You know, people are going to, you know, whine and complain about every little thing. <laughs> um, but people, like, when this news came out, people really like to bash the hell out of it, you know, when it should be a, a positive announcement for fans of the show. Um, but I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, there's uh, shows I've been on longer than this already that <laughs> I think are honestly far, far lesser than uh, what Van Helsing is. And I think Van Helsing has a lot of great things going for it, and this is why you should be watching, because it has a very solid cast, you know, you got uh, Kelly Overton as the lead, you know, as uh, Vanessa Helsing, or Vanessa Van Helsing, um, you know, I think Kelly Overton's a very capable actress, she's doing very well so far, especially when she, you know, bites into some of the vampires, that's, you know, pretty badass, and she also has vulnerability to her as well when it comes to her daughter, and, uh, you know, and as she gets close to her, certain members of the group, too. And I think Kelly Overton's portraying that very well. She's a very capable and strong lead, I think. And she's definitely someone I'm uh, compelled by and, uh, you know, feel good following. So I'm really happy with her so far. And you have other really good actors on the show. Um, you know, Jonathan Scarf, he's, uh, you know, he's a pretty good as our uh, male lead, of course, with uh, Axel. Um, and then you have... Of course, I'm going to the cast list right now because I really don't want to miss, miss uh, anyone right now. Um, just give me a second. All right. Then you have uh, Christ Christopher Heyerdahl, um, who plays Sam. You know, he's this uh, silent sort of a uh, 
bigger guy, but he seems to have very good heart about him, and he seems to have a bit of a mystery to his past as well. He can't really speak, but he's one of the most interesting characters on the show, and he's a really good actor. You know, he's found things like Hell on Wheels. Uh, he played a, he played a demon on Supernatural, very good in that show as well. Um, I love Supernatural, by the way. Um, and you got David Cubbis, John. He's sort of similar to Axel, except he's. A, a little, a little bit more uh, changed by this world, I think. You know, he's a little bit more uh, shaken by it all, I think, despite his uh, rough exterior. Um, and, of course, you have uh, Vincent, G Vincent uh, Gale as Flesh, um, one of the first people who were uh, turned back to human, or one of the first vampires who were turned back into a human by Vanessa. And, you know, we don't know what's really going through his head right now. We are starting to suspect that there might be some after effects, despite being turned back into a human. But he's played very well, he's an intelligent guy, and uh, he's also maybe our survivor's source of information about what's actually going on with these vampires. Um, Rukia Bernard as Doc, you know, she's a very good actress, and she's definitely essential to the show. You got Trezo Maharo as Muhammad, Alex Penevac as, uh, Penevic, I should say, as uh, Julius, you know, one of our uh, three, you know, antagonist vampires on the show. Um, he was also in the hundred, so I'm really happy to see him on here. He's very intimidating, very creepy. Um, not only because of his size, but he's a pretty good actor too. Um, you got Hilary Jardine as uh, Susan, you know, a friend from uh, you know the past when before all this uh, apocalyptic shit went down. A friend of Vanessa's, we just uh, met again at the end of the or during the last episode. Um, excited to see more of her with our main group. Then you got uh, Lori Manel as uh, Rebecca, our other uh, main vampire antagonist. She's one of the ancients. Very creepy, yet weirdly seductive and sort of sexy. So, uh, And then she also, she's intense as hell, but she, at the same time she also has this uh, depth and sort of uh, fascination with humans too. Then you got Paul Johansson as Dimitri. Um, you know, our other, uh, he seems to be our big bad, um, but there's a power struggle between the three of them, so we'll see how it, uh, shakes out. Um, but he's almost, he almost looks like a Dracula type of character, but, you know, he's pretty cool so far. Uh, you know, then, then you got, uh, Roland Penlebeni as, uh, Scab, and again, I, I'm probably <laughs> butchering the hell out of your name, man. Um, you know, I could just go on listing every member of the cast so far, then you even have, uh, like, uh, load. <laughs> okay, then you even have Terry Chen as uh, Brandon, uh, Brandon, one of our uh, survivors are picked up on the streets of Seattle. He was in things like uh, not Containment, but uh, why am I suddenly forgetting the name of it right now? Continuum, I should say. And then he was also in The 100 in Season 1 or 2 as well, I think. Um, so it's cool to see him on here. And I, like I said, I could go on listing the cast forever. Um, but that's just one of the uh, many good things about the show. The cast is very strong all around, I think, especially with our uh, leads and our ancient vampires, I think. Um, and then uh, another thing is, you know, the effects are very good. You know, there's there's obviously some CGI used, but they do use uh, quite a bit of uh, practical, you know, effects and uh, makeup as well, which I've been really impressed by. As a horror fan, I'm always happy to see that approach as, a, as opposed to, like, all CGI. It always comes across better no matter what. Um, like even some of our, like our feral, more nastier, animalistic type of vampires, they look really, really good, and I really enjoy it. And you know, we have tons of blood on the show as well. Uh, so again, as a horror fan, that definitely uh, pleases me. It can be pretty brutal at times. I'm sometimes surprised by how much uh, sci-fi lets them get away with. Um, it's really, it's probably more violent or graphic than uh, Z Nation, I'd say. It definitely looks more real for sure. Um, so we got that going for the effects, uh, the storyline. You know, some people think it's pretty basic, but I think it's actually a, a pretty different type of approach, you know, compared to what people were probably expecting with the title Van Helsing. Um, some people are really uh, bashing it because it doesn't have to do with the man himself, but I'm sure we'll find out more about Vanessa's ties to him, you know, maybe in a, another season or maybe towards the end of this one, I don't know. Um, but it's definitely a different spin than what people were expecting, I think. And we haven't really seen a story exactly like this before, so I feel like uh, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes, no question. Especially with the season two uh, you know, on the table, for sure now, it's, it's going to be really good. Um, so the storyline's fairly unique, I think. Uh, 
And then we have, you know, just good character dynamics, too. I know I already talked about the cast, but again, that's probably the highlight of the show for me. That's the most important thing. Uh, and because a story can't really be played out very well if the cast within it isn't meshing, and these guys do for sure on both ends of it. Um, and another thing is just how awesome the cast and crew is, you know, because you can go on Twitter and you can tweet to some of these guys, and chances are they'll you'll get some interaction with them. You know, I know Twitter isn't you know, such a big deal or anything. Uh, it shouldn't be such a big deal, but just the fact that these uh, cast members, especially as well as uh, certain uh, writers and stuff, they're willing to interact with us on Twitter. Uh, you know, I've had the pleasure to, uh, you know, talk with some of them, actually, and one of them, uh, Scab, actually watches uh, my reviews or recaps. And that's just really awesome, you know, it's really awesome of them to interact with fans like that, even just in small ways. You know, I've seen shows that uh, you know, maybe only have like a couple thousand more viewers and they don't interact with their fans at all. Um, so I think it's a major credit to these guys and it says something about how they care about the show and uh, the fans who do watch it. Um, I think it's really a big credit to them, so you guys are great, thanks. Um, so that's another thing. I, I could rant about Van Helsing all day. It's just really off to an awesome start. It's one of my favorites out there already. Uh, I really can't wait to see what they do with season two, uh, let alone the rest of season one, which should be intense as hell. I think the season finales to this show are going to be pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, I really can't wait to see more. And that was just my uh, argument as to why you should be watching it right now, why you should give it a chance. Uh, watch all the episodes. You know, there's five out right now. Don't just watch three. Watch five and then say what you think. And I think uh, there's a lot to like about it. I don't think there's anything to complain about, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about Van Helsing so far, about the Season 2 renewal. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time, most likely to review another sci-fi original series, Aftermath, you know, which is okay so far, but it's definitely no Van Helsing. Van Helsing's fucking awesome, and I hope you guys check it out. Catch you guys next time. Peace.